here on your test, and it has to do with uh, two angles and the um, angle addition postulate. So if you remember that, we know from the very first or second chapter, I guess we covered, um, that two angles add together to make a bigger, bigger angle. We call that the angle addition postulate. So when we see a proof like this, and it's basically just an algebraic proof, um, we want to look, okay, is it a segment? Is it an angle? And then we can decide which property to use. So we read our first sentence, and we um, see that it's PQR plus SQR equals PQS. Well, now, usually we always write given first. But in this case, um, it's an algebraic proof, so it's not really proving a theorem or an algebraic uh, geometric concept. It's proving an algebra. It's just basically saying, what are the steps below? So um, you're basically explaining this person's work. So their first step, their first part of their thinking is that they use the angle addition postulate. So let me write that out. The angle addition postulate. And that just basically says two angles can be added together to make a larger angle. Um, so make sure you're familiar with the difference between the angle and the um, segment addition postulate. Now, what we did next is they substituted these equations in that they gave you up here. So they substitute this one in, and they substitute this guy in, and they substitute the 100 in. And so basically, it's a combined like terms problem. Remember, there's two types of algebra problems. There's combined like terms, and then there is um, congruence problems that we see a lot of in geometry. So those are your two concepts that you need to make sure um, you know about, but this proof is done for us anyways. We add x and x together to get 2x. We add minus 5 and minus 11 together to get negative 16, and that's just simplifying. Now, what did they do to get from this step down to this step? So we have to think about, well, what's going on here? Notice both sides of the equation changed. So what do you do when you have 2x minus 16 equals 100 in algebra? You add a number to both sides. So what number are we adding to both sides? Well, it's 16, right? If we add 16 to both sides, that cancels out this 16 over here and gets 2x by itself. So when we add a number to both sides, that's a pretty easy property. Remember, that's the addition um, property. Addition property is different than the angle addition property. Um, angle addition property is this a concept that says two smaller angles can be combined together to make a bigger angle, whereas this is any constant added to both sides or any like term or any term added to both sides um, will result in an equal statement or an equivalent statement. So there's another problem. Um, let me know if you have any questions.